At a first glance, it's easy to explain what DevOps is to a very casual observer. All you need to do is to decouple the term, a compound of the two words development and operations. But the implication is very clear. The idea behind DevOps is to take the traditional dev and the ops processes that have long existed as separate individual functions and weave them into commonly shared objectives addressed by the cross-functional teams. So what's the result? You can build and support applications with greater agility, speed, and efficiency. At its core, DevOps is a transformational cultural phenomenon, one where collaboration, experimentation, and innovation helps fuse dev and ops workers into cross-functional teams responsible for all aspects of the software delivery lifecycle. By having all the stakeholders at the table, critical feedback loops are created. All team members communicate continuously to improve application quality and application delivery. In other words, the end game of DevOps is to eliminate the bottlenecks that arise using linear waterfall processes. Instead of focusing on one piece of the puzzle and then handing it off to another team, DevOps provides a unified strategy to create an efficient internal software factory. The factory frees up human resources and changes internal workflows to deliver measurable gains, right from decreasing operational costs to increasing worker satisfaction. And we know that when workers are happier, the organization can innovate on the fly to bring new products and services to market much more quickly. Making a business case for DevOps adoption shouldn't be too difficult. There may be some heavy lifting required to translate concepts into reality, but the benefits you would realize makes the effort worthwhile. Here are some of the steps for you to take to begin adopting DevOps. Number one, secure management support to drive a change in culture and process. Number two, identify opportunistic projects where you can start by beginning experimenting with DevOps. Number three, adopt the right tool sets to enable automation and collaboration. Number four, establish methods of measurement to gauge DevOps progress. This overview only represents the tip of the iceberg, but I hope it will help you begin your DevOps journey. Good luck.